Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Papa Isadu. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, these episodes, I, I have to say the show is not what I expected. I thought it was going to be flat out comedy and it's saying so much more and I think a lot of people are having that reaction. Since the show started airing, what have you been hearing from people, especially about Kwame? Uh, a whole kind of like range of different things, you know, but like generally pretty positive. Generally, people seem to uh, respond to the show and to Kwame. Um, and yeah, I think a, a, yeah, a lot of people are seeing themselves in him, you know, and a lot of people are kind of um, relating to his experience, um, which is which is good. Yeah, well, we're previewing episode 10, which is a good one for him. What can you talk about that? Because at this point in the series, what we've seen so far from him, I want to ask, like, what, what does he actually want? Because he's definitely reeling from this assault that he went through. But I want to know, like, in his heart, what does he want? Does he want a relationship? Does What does he want? I don't think, to be fair, I don't think he knows for sure what he wants at this point, just because what he's gone through has been so um, overwhelming. You know, like when, when, when like something traumatic happens to you or something, yeah, anything huge happens to you, it's quite difficult to kind of like root yourself or ground yourself in a way that allows you to be able to plan with clarity going forward. So I think right now he just wants something that go is going to help him just like stop and breathe for a second, whatever that may be, whether, whether that's a hookup, whether that's a relationship, whether that's not seeing anybody at all, whether that's just being with his friends, whatever it is. He, I think he just wants something that can, that he can believe in, he can trust in and that can allow him to just like stop, breathe and like see himself. Well, and I think the show says something really interesting about sex and then intimacy and how those things are very different. And, you know, you can get the quick hookup via social media or the apps, but it's so much more because intimacies can be very different than just sex. Um, can you talk about that being a part of the show? Because I feel like we're also seeing that in a lot of the stories. Well, I mean, that's like one way of looking at it, I think. Like sex and intimacy can be really um, uh, divorced from each other. Um, but also you can have like really, really intimate kind of like transient moments with people just like that and they're beautiful and it's done and then you move on um so i think that's one of the things about apps you know there's the whole kind of like spectrum of different things available to you it's often it boils down to whether you're lucky enough to kind of like have one <laughs> rather than the other but um yeah i think uh, the show kind of like looks as looks at sex in like a way that feels like more real to me to um the way that we kind of interact with it in today's society and like um yeah apps are a big part of that right now in a way that like yeah 15 years ago 10 years ago it would have been like i remember like people thinking it was weird to like do online dating or whatever now like people are like what there's another way <laughs> you know? so, yeah i think i think about that because i've been in a relationship for a long time but i think back like wow if these apps existed when i was single i don't know if i could have handled it it seems too much but i guess that's that's me being a little older generation <laughs> <laughs> i think you do just fine really <laughs> <laughs> um also in this episode i won't spoil anything but we also get to see a lot of arabella's family and her backstory if we even if we don't see too much for your characters do, do you create that for yourself to kind of know where he came from and what kind of upbringing he has uh, yeah, it's really important to me because like that kind of context speaks to the kind of person that he is and speaks really kind of like informs his behavior and like a big reason why um, what happens to him, him in episode four happens to him is because he doesn't feel he's able to um, bring this guy back to his own house because of his father's homophobia, you know? So like that all kind of like it, it, it informs like it literally informs like his sex life, his sexuality, and it informs what happens to him, you know? So like his, his, um, his, his family in my mind is very clear, um, but I don't need to tell you exactly what they, what they're like. It just kind of like comes out in the way that he is. Yeah. As an actor, was there a part of this season that was challenging for you in particular or surprising in part of the journey? Can you talk about that? Yeah, there were loads. I mean, there were loads of, difficult things and like for me it's always hard doing um the scenes with Michaela which are kind of like closer to because obviously it's like influenced by real life so the scenes with Michaela that are kind of like more closer to to the the reality of what happened 
are more difficult to do, you know, because like you, you've got less fantasy to kind of hide behind. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, I think just like watching it, I was just like, not surprised, but just like astonished by just like the level of courage and bravery in, um, in the making of the show, both in like the performances and the way it's written in the way it's um, executed and the way it's kind of like being broadcast. I just think there's huge bravery and courage at the center of it, which is, um, which is astonishing, yeah. How would you tease these last few episodes of the season as far as Kwame's journey and then also um, Arabella's? I think, um, ah, yeah, how to tease them. I, I, I honestly think that you, I, I, you need to watch the final episodes to understand really any of the rest of it. I really think like those final two episodes particularly are a key into um, understanding what we're kind of going for in terms of the whole arc of the show. So like you watch those final two episodes and so suddenly that first episode means something completely different. That fourth episode means something completely different. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm not going to tease with um, specifics, but I will tease with saying like, you have to watch it if, if, if you're going to um, really, really get the most of all the work that you've already put in by watching the, the first turn. Yeah, I have a feeling once people watch all, of, all the episodes, they'll want to go back and watch it again because you'll watch it with different eyes. I know I w I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, I'd really recommend doing it because like it's, it, it, it's one, it's, and then, with like really great pieces of art, they kind of like metamorphosize over time as you have like time for you to grow. It grows in a different way. It's like Shakespeare, you know, it, the, the plays start meaning different things to you as you kind of like move through your life. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot to be gained from watching this show again. Yeah.